Hello, Sagittarius. It is the Sun Sage back to do your July 2022 predictions. So this will be for Sag, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. And those of you that are cross watchers connected to a Sag, this can resonate for you as well. So let's go ahead and get into it, you guys. I'm going to see what's coming in for you guys for, um, yeah, July. Dreaming. Okay, that, that slid out. All right. Um, keep in mind, this is a general message. Um, so it may not resonate for everyone. Take your message. And what resonates for you and leave the rest okay so you start off with dreaming sagittarius what else do we have for you for the month of july your predictions what's going on in july awareness okay what else do we have for our sag positivity okay um and you have memories at the bottom of the deck, all right? So overall, I feel like you guys are stepping outside of who you used to be. You're becoming someone different. You're becoming someone new, someone who feels restored, someone who feels um, like you are tapping into your highest vibrational self. You feel happier. You feel like you have a lot of positivity coming your way in July. Memories though, right? These are those moments where you either get really sad at some things from your past, like as you start moving on and away from them, or you start to really think about how far you've come. And so there's a mixture of both of those sort of energies that are going to sneak up on you because of course it's cancer season and um, there's going to be some emotional moments, but I feel happy tears. I feel, you know, joy. I feel a lot of uh, positivity coming through for you. All right. So let's see what we have dreaming. OK, um, your dreams are going to be very significant in um, July. Again, it's that cancer energy <laughs> uh, helping you out a little bit. You may want to write your dreams down. Sometimes dreams can be warning. Sometimes they can be a sign of beautiful things to come. So there's something really significant about your dream space, whether you're daydreaming or, um, you know, sleeping. It just feels like there's some messages coming through for you. Uh, five of Wands. OK, Um. If there's conflict or drama surrounding you, I do feel like a lot of you, um, I, I do feel like a lot of you are sort of tuning that out. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that you're tuning it out. You know, it doesn't involve me. Um, I'm no longer investing in that. Um, there's this new self-love thing going on and I feel like you've got it. Ace of Cups here. I also feel like you're surrounded by love. You're surrounded by positivity. And so it's very difficult for you to find yourself sort of focused on any sort of drama. Um, outside of that, I, I picked up another energy for those of you that feel like you're going into a competitive career. You got this. Okay. There's something about you wanting to start a business and you keep looking at all all the other, all the, all the people who are doing it. And you're like, should I do it? There's already so many people doing it. This five of wands, this person in the middle who you sometimes don't even see this person right here in the middle of all of those foxes, this person is fighting, right? They're still, they're still going despite the distractions around, despite the competition, despite the challenging nature of it. This person is, uh, is believing in their dreams and they're believing that they have, um, um, they have a shot. So you guys do have a chance, um, at something. Um, it feels like tune out also comparing yourself to others. This is five of wands. You have your own unique qualities. Yep. Eight of pentacles. Just work on what you want. Um, in the month of July, it feels like that's what you do. You tune out the competition. You tune out the people who are trying to compare themselves or trying to get you to compare yourselves to others. A lot of you have a big dream to be very successful. A lot of you want to travel more. A lot of you want to make more money. Um, and there's specifically some of you who want to go into a field. I'm picking up makeup. I'm picking up entertainment. And you're like, uh, everybody's doing it. Nope. It feels like you have something very unique that you still need to work towards this goal for. There's something, yes, everybody's doing it, but you're not doing it. So there's something unique that you have to offer to this with that eight of pentacles. And there, it feels like there's good money involved in it. Um, some of you are already in a competitive career. Um, Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're already in some sort of career where you feel like, you know, the surroundings of it are just not making you happy. And there's something else you'd rather be doing. But that puts you in this, the Two of Swords. I have to make a decision. Um, for some of you, you've held back on your dreams because of that comparing yourself. 
oh, somebody else is already doing this. There's already somebody else who has cashed in on it. No, this two of swords feels like this is your moment to stop comparing yourselves to others, stop competing with others and make the decision that's best for you, right? Some of you have like the goal, what you want right in front of you, but you're stalling on making a big decision. The Eight of Cups says that you're not happy with what you're doing, but you also have this sort of restraint and fear of going after what it is that you want. So um, you guys are pretty fearless. I feel like there's something about you um, in in July where you're more emotional. Um, you're not feeling as confident and you're tapping into that self-love. But sometimes, you know, it feels like it, it is something that you struggle with throughout the month. What is Eight of Cups? Um, it's the Ace of Pentacles. Go after that new beginning. There's money attached to it. I feel like there's a new life, a whole new lifestyle attached to it. The Six of Cups is you've been holding on to something or even someone, but it more feels like something because the memories you have with it. Six of Cups, that's this memories right um that is the past right some of you are like i remember when i first started working here at ace of pentacles and it was such a you know i thought i was gonna go places i thought it was this was the this was it for me this was and it turned out not to be right so don't make excuses for where you are now if it is within your means right because everybody's not able to just pick up and leave if it is within your means i feel like this is something that is possible for you to just leave and for others of you that eight of pentacles shows that you you may have to stay there eight more months, right? Realistically, for some of you, maybe eight more years. But I feel like your big break is coming with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, and, and stop comparing yourself because there's something unique that you got going on. Somebody wants a tea shop or has a thing of herbal teas or something, a business they want to start. What is this Ace of Pentacles? Um, I feel like... Somebody is saying they don't have enough money, but you do. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to call you out, Sagittarius, with the Libra rising. Sagittarius with Libra moon here. But yeah, I feel like the Queen of Swords, Um, make up your mind. That's what this month feels like. Yep, two of wands. We keep getting these twos for you. Make up your mind. All right. Um, This is saying that you have a vision of the life that you really want. You want more travel. You want more leisure. You want more peace of mind. <laughs> you want more money. And I also feel like you have an awesome career idea or an awesome venture invention or something. Somebody feels like an inventor here. It feels like you have something that you can do. Make up your mind. Be this queen of swords. Libra energy. I'm going to um, do this again. Um, put, um, I'm going to see what's coming through for this queen of swords. It's the knight of swords. All right. Um. You may feel like there's a Libra blocking you. Leo got this too. You may feel like there's a, a Libra blocking you or there's somebody in your life that's blocking you from going after your goals. Two of Wands here. This person isn't that big of an obstacle, but yes, they could be the one represented here in this Five of Wands as, you know, your distractions and, and your challenges here. Um, it really feels like you have the, 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 you have a way out of this situation, okay? Um, your dreams are telling you something and possibly it could be telling you to cut somebody off and that is your key to moving to the next level, right? So if you have a lover, a family member, specifically if they're an air sign, Libra showing up, Aquarius, Gemini, that person could be what's holding you back. And I feel like you get this really detailed dream about this person and, and why you may not be moving forward or what the holdup is. If it could have something to do with this person. All right. So let's see why we have awareness. Yeah, that dream helps you wake up. That's the irony. Um, whatever you learn in that dream, whatever comes through, pay attention to the signs, to the symbols, whatever is coming through, it feels like that is your key to getting out of this stuck energy, to getting out of this feeling like you can't do it. What is this awareness for Sagittarius? Thank you. It is the tower. Yep. That's your moment. That's the tower moment. That is your breakthrough. Okay. Something sets you free. Okay. Something comes to light and it sets you free, Sag. It feels like it pertains to an air sign. Leo got exactly these 
exactly like this queen of swords and knight of swords so it could be a person who is not very happy with their own circumstances in life that they haven't found their own sense of happiness or it could specifically be an air sign who, who has those same qualities but it just feels like there's somebody here who you're about to learn the truth about or who you already know about but you're kind of dragging your feet on kicking them out the door what is this tower scorpio energy for sag yep that's your key to moving on that's your key to moving forward chariot to cut that person off some of you realize i have been helping this person i have been financially uh you know carrying this person it is time for you to break free that chariot is your ambition moving you forward towards your goal but those swords energies are saying that you have to make up your mind um it is very important in order for you to have the dream life that you keep thinking of and dreaming about four of wands that completion that success that you want somebody is hindering you from that what is this chariot this someone is blocking you yeah judgment leo got something just like this you guys may be connected to a leo um the leo and you are in this together <laughs> i'm picking up um yeah follow your gut you already know who this person is for those of you that are dealing with this type of energy pisces showing up scorpio again with the judgment um awareness you guys become aware of that path that leads you to your ultimate success to where you are supposed the reason why you're having these memories um and seeing synchronicities probably in july is because um this is your month this is your time to make you might want to look at your chart and see why this year and that month it's so significant for you to make a big decision right it has something to do with your life path what is judgment about um yep queen of pentacles your success is like within the grasp okay there's more money on the horizon for you um something that you start in july over the court until scorpio season not until but in scorpio season is when you really start to see that money um when you really start to see the success of it when you are able to buy that house when you are able to purchase that car um another thing the tower and the chariot be mindful. There could be some sort of car accident situation um, with judgment here. And the queen of pentacles, you could get a payment, a settlement if there is um, any sort of accident. You feel like you get a big payoff. Um, the fool here, um, something, something in July starts you on a new path in your life right? It feels like it's taking someone out. It feels like it's shedding some things you no longer need. Capricorn here. Also Virgo, Taurus. Yep. The sun. It's a positive. If, it, if there's any sort of like, yeah, I got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. I'll get back to this, but if there's any sort of like, um, I don't want to say disaster, but the tower with the chariot can definitely be some sort of motor, um, malfunction or some sort of accident. A, it feels like you will be fine, okay, physically, and B, it feels like it actually turns out a settlement or something turns out with this outcome with the sun. The sun is always a positive outcome, so I don't feel like there's anything for you guys to worry about, but I do feel like there's energies here that something has to happen in order to get you on the right track in your life. Some of you, you know, like kind of like that judgment moment. That's what judgment is, right? Um, this accident, you know, made me think about things, right? Um, almost, you know, having that, that, uh, that brush with death, you know, it sort of opens something up. And so that's what it, it, it may take that for some of you. And I feel like that's what happens to get you guys where you need to be, um, so that you can get to this success. Some of you have a really successful business idea um or an idea a business idea that is going to be very successful i also feel a successful partnership collaborate with leos this month it feels like it is going to go great um sagittarius for you if you collaborate with leos um if you collaborate with earth signs too capricorn mainly but also towards virgo all right any sort of partnership work even relationship that you have with earth signs or leos feels like it goes well okay 
All right, so positivity. Let's see why we have this. I'm telling you guys, there's something that's going to happen in July. I don't even, you don't even feel scared. It just feels like it's something that happens and you guys ace it, right? If life is throwing a, t a test at you, you ace that. What's this positivity? Somebody's car does malfunction, but you feel like you're going to be okay. Eight of Wands here um, with positivity. Yep, you're getting good news. Possibly the 8th of July. Okay, keep an eye out for that. Um, this Knight of Wands is you. This good news feels like it has to do something with something that you want to celebrate. All right, something you're feeling good about. You're feeling very confident about. Um, some of you are receiving communication, good communication. That's what I'm telling you. It's money. Um, connected to this or some sort of good outcome you're getting the news about the four swords you can relax right you can sleep easy you can sleep peacefully here you're getting some sort of good news about something yep and there's the fool the five of swords with the fool leo's got this same combo and you guys see me shuffling okay so this is just coming through to say that i do feel like there could be an air sign messing with fire signs okay um i'll see what aries gets but right now it feels like there's just some energy that is trying to block you from having a new beginning and it doesn't work same thing with leo's it just didn't work for that person and aquarius is showing up you guys also have libra what is this fool um you get good news about that person that could be messing with you strength collaborate with leos i'm telling you this leo has your back this is your strength this is your rock right here there's an air sign that feels like they're trying to get over on you maybe a fire sign in your life but it doesn't work <laughs> there's is you're too powerful whoever you're connected to is far too powerful they think you are gullible this person may think that they can take advantage of you nope somebody has your back emperor all right. Somebody has your back. Somebody is your protective force right here. Feels like a fire sign. Your fellow fire signs, you're you're connecting to very well this year. They got you. Aries was with that emperor. Yep. Page of Swords. Okay. So the empress may be a mother figure, maybe a father figure. Um, it just really feels like, um, <laughs> yeah. Look at the, the strength, the Leo energy going at this air sign. There's something here about you guys being very protective in this moment of those closest to you and most vulnerable, or somebody is being very protective of you in a vulnerable state in the month of July. So you feel very protected. You feel like you're in the midst of making a life-changing decision. And the Empress is confirmation that you get everything that you manifested and wish for out of this. This is um, confirmation also that you guys will be looking and feeling very beautiful throughout the month of July. You will be connecting to nature. There's going to be something glowing about you. And so take advantage of that for those of you that want to get into cosmetics or some sort of aesthetic business. You look good. Okay. Um, and I also feel like this page of swords is confirmation that, um, there will be people who are, or someone in particular, I'm, I'm not going to say people cause that's, that's too much. And I'm not picking that up. There are just somebody here who feels like they are jealous, but they're too small for you. You're too big for this person. They can't impact you in the way that they want it to. Um, so I'm going to grab one more message for you guys. This is the Rebel deck. And these messages are a little off the chain. <laughs> so, you know, if it doesn't resonate, do not receive it. But let's see what comes through. What comes through for Sagittarius, the month of July? Your predictions. What do we have? Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen, all right? So the big message that's coming through with this is that pay attention, that you saw that dreaming, right? Pay attention to those dreams. Pay attention to, you know, the signs and synchronicities you're seeing. There's a message coming through to you, possibly about an air sign in your life or somebody that has that, you know, sort of energy. Um, there's a message coming through to you. Don't question it. OK, um, you know, the first thing to do is not to call this person and go, I just had a dream about you. Right. That dream is for you. That's just a, a clue for some of you guys. Don't call this person and tell them about it. That dream is for you. OK, there's a message coming through for you in July, almost like it's telling you this person's time is almost up in your life. And there's an opportunity for you to start getting used to that so that you can move on to your new life. OK, that feels like it's going to be absent them. All right. So Sagittarius, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much um, for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.